This building will have some simple underground structures, so we'll use the previously created exterior walls as trace references to place the necessary foundations. Right-click the Floor Plan tab and open the Minus One Foundation Floor Plan view. For the Trace and Reference feature, choose the Above Current Story option. Click on Transparent Fills and Zones. This way we can better see the skins of the wall composites. Activate the Wall Tool. If you'd like to skip to the next step, you can apply the Strip Foundation Favorite from the Lesson 8 Favorites folder. In the Wall Settings dialog, set up the following parameters. Wall Top, Zero Ground Floor. Top Offset to Top Length Story, minus 100. Bottom Offset to Current Story, zero, so that the wall height is 1400. Home Story, minus 1, Foundation. Structure Basic. Building Material, Reinforced Concrete Structural. Thickness, 600. Reference Line, Inside Face. Reference Line Offset, 50. Tags, Load Bearing Element, Exterior, and Footing. Click OK to close the dialog. You can turn on the View, On-Screen View Options, Wall and Beam Reference Lines option to better see the reference lines of the placed walls. Use the Chained Geometry method for faster placement. Follow the reference line direction of the existing walls when placing the foundations. Draw the main four wall segments so the reference line of the foundation meets the reference line of the walls above. In the Wall Settings dialog, set the reference line offset value to 150. Then space and click the curved wall to place the foundations. The thickness of the new foundation wall is not wide enough. Select it, and using the info box, change its thickness to 1000. Click on the left node of the curved foundation reference. In the pet palette, activate the angular stretch command and hover the cursor over the left node of the curved wall. Using the Tab key, select the chord field in the tracker, type 50 plus, and press Enter. Using the same method, increase the foundation length to the right and deselect the wall. Open the Wall Default Settings dialog again and set the reference line offset value to 300. Click OK. Then create foundations for the two short walls. Don't forget to follow the existing walls direction. We also need foundations under the wooden columns. Activate the column tool. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the Pad Foundation Favorite from the Lesson 8 Favorites folder. In the Column Settings dialog, set the following parameters. Column Top, Zero Ground Floor. Top Offset to Top Link to Story, minus 100. Bottom Offset to Home Story, Zero. Size, 500 by 500. Building material, reinforced concrete structural. Tags, load bearing element, exterior, footing. Click OK to close the dialog. Now click the midpoints of the wooden columns to place the foundations.
Finally, turn off wall and beam reference lines. Disable transparent fills and zones. And turn off trace reference as well.